Hello there, welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last time, I... I went to Lush Jungle, took on Captain Malu's food-related trial, and defeated Totem Larantis. Today, I will be going to the interdimensional lab. But first, there are some things on route. Route 8 I still want- I still have to do. First, remember that little boy was crying to see a pessimi- pessimian? Well, I managed to catch one, uh, in lush jungle. Just like Verdant Cavern, you are a- after you defeated the totem Pokemon, you are able to catch Pokemon within that area. Uh, Persimian is- Kind of rare, so you might have to search, search around a bit before you can find one. Passion. Um, unlike other, unlike other quests where you just have to simply register the data in it of a Pokemon, you don't actually have to have the... Unlike most quests where you don't actually have to have the Pokemon in your party, just have the data, this one you actually have to have a Passamian in your party. Oh, thank you! Look, son, it's Passamian! Wow, it's Passamian! Yay, yay! That was great, right? Daddy, why is this Pokemon called Passimian? Oh, uh, well, that's because... Long ago, some Passimian had a lot of apricot berries to share. One held out his hand, and the other said, Pass him an apricot. Somebody overheard Pass him an and figured that was their name, I guess. Wow, great! I get it! Oh, oh, thank you, miss! Please take this! That's right, you get a rare candy. I have nine rare candies now. I have no idea what to do with them. Um, I mean, it's tempting to give my Pokemon them, especially those that evolve via friendly evolution, but I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to waste them. Should I use? I forgot if. Fight this research, research. I shall research the Pokemon. Scientist Tyrone. Ooh, here's a fossil Pokemon. Uh, Amara's Rock Ice. Uh, you're up. you're up.
you up, probably. I think it's this guy. Oh, I haven't shown the fossil research area route eight yet, haven't I? Present the results of my research. This Pokemon, this person's Pokemon, strong. A further research topic is how to defeat strong Pokemon. Beat all of the trainers along Route 8? Then it looks like it's finally my time to shine! Now let's get this thing started, shall we? Yes, please. Then here I go! It's time for me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance! Oh... This trainer managed to get a Z... Flynium Z? I think this is the first time witnessing a trainer having... Power ring. Uh, yeah, I. There was actually two trainers on a rock on the very. on an island on the very. southwestern part of Route 8 that I didn't. Sh haven't sh shown on screen. It's because I thought it would make this video go up. A video go on too long. They both have machops. Um, if you manage to do, yeah, that's a re those two are also part of the requirement for fighting this ace trainer. Oh no, bug is gone, a goner. Um. Yeah, but near the- you have to use Lapras Ride to get to them. And uh, near them in a body of water is... is where a water stone is. Wow, Bugga survived that <laughs> Super Sonic Sky strike attack. They've fallen right to the bottom! Well, that's the end of me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance! Thanks for taking the- Thanks for taking part in the show! Take this with you as a souvenir! You obtained TM58 Sky Drop! I bet you can find other trainers who use particular moves and items, just like me, on the various routes of Alola. Wouldn't it be fun to take a little detour and search them all out? Yeah, Sky Drop. Sky Drop. Uh... When I first... I When I played Pokemon Conquest, I thought Sky Drop 
seem too much like fly. I mean, you have to... It takes an entire turn in order to... before it actually inflicts damage. Just like fly. Then again, I guess this... Well, this game doesn't have HM moves. This, there's this dude near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. Yeah, this fossil restoration center. Let's make a fossil filled wonderland. Welcome to the dream park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled to bursting with Pokemon from the ancient past. That's my dream for this, the dream park, to bring the ancient world back to life. The Pokemon equivalent of Jurassic Park? Unfortunately, I do not have any fossils with me. Yeah, when if you have a fossil, bring them to this guy. Okay, I think that's it for Route 8. Next up is heading... Oh. Oh, hold. Um, Route... You go... Back to the down where um south below where the entrance to Lush Jungle is is actually a part of Route Five that you cannot access before. I don't mind youngster, but I want to be called that boy in shorts. So, what do you think of the large list of my area? Uh, define largeness. The very first time I saw Squid Link's ability in action.
Mudbury. Whoa, a large scale trainer. Up here is TM fifty nine brutal swing. What? Oh, okay, put wild put poets oh, in a lowland diglet. I believe a lowland diggle is ground steel. Come back here is slightly weaker Pokemon. Plumero wants to learn Toxic. Yoichi, how's it? I heard, I knew I heard your footsteps. I finished up Molo's trial and ate every, and ate down every last bite of that super Molo special of hers. Boy, that was good enough to break the mouth. You heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just keep on going straight away this way. Maybe I'll catch you there. Later. Maybe I'll catch you there later. Yeah, cameo from how? Sorry, but my Stoutling is a real thrower, thrower kind and likes to uncover every last stone. The two of us are gonna keep on going like this until we uncover every last grand item between here and the Hano Grand Resort. Wait a sec, how do I get to Paniola Town again? Was it by going down Route Four or um Just acting like I was a witchy. 
You, you always, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that pained me just as much as, as if I was the one being hurt. But if I could become as strong as Hao and Oichi are, then maybe things would be different. Oh! Um, oh, Oichi, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. The, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. Uh, how how were, uh, were your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was no problem. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Al Akala Island's trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you took looked so content and understood by Crab Roller there, I mean. When to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone could tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Dimensional Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. there, honey! Oh, hi. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? And she's also my wife! You're Oichi, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. C Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Um, hmm? No how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala. Before him. You really think so? Waho! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to, good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Oichi here because I wanted to tell her about some some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysterious, the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole! It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of some fearsome Pokémon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. 
It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is prob there is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to believe, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Interdream Holt Zone. There was a man named Mon who years ago traveled his published his theory about the ultra wormholes. If you use the V versus recorder, you can not only rewatch old link battles you had with others, you can even hold mock battles against the teams captured in the battle video. That's why battle videos are the best. You just hit me, you you're not using battle boxes, are you? Good grief! If you want to use battle boxes, check your boxes in your PC. Add, ba add Pokemon to a battle box and create a battle team. Then you can select a battle team instantly whenever you want to battle your friends. You can set up to six battle teams to be used in different situations. That way you can distinguish the team you use for your journey from the t special team that you might use for just for battle royals, for example. Also, you can have the same Pokemon in different battle teams. Please use battle boxes from your boxes in your PC. Being able to go more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great! recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering up until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, saying, staying up all night to hear about it. To hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me trying to try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. How, how about that, Oichi? And if Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. You've finished all three of Akala's trials, woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck! Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Kony Kony City. I still have some things I wanted to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. B 
being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner, Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. Well, that's it for this episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last, next time, I will be going to Diglett Tunnel. See you guys next time.